For as much work as I've done in the field of conflict management, this past month, I was reminded in a very powerful way that in the end, it's really only God who redeems conflict. It's only God who makes possible that capacity to let go of a hurt. It's only God who can renew a relationship that's been injured. And that in some ways, every time a conflict is redeemed, it's really a small miracle in the world. But what I also believe is that we can do our part by leaning into the tough conversations of our lives, just to give God a chance to be able to do that work that God wants to be able to do. And in that vein, we can practice deep listening, even when it's really tough. Uh, we can distinguish between intention and impact and, and untangle those two. When the conversation begins to move into language of blaming, we can shift into a framework of acknowledging what each of us contributed to the situation. Uh, we can pray for the capacity to forgive and for the courage to say, I'm sorry, because without a doubt, God also needs us to do our part in redeeming the conflict of our lives.